Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the second episode of the second season of Uma Musume Pretty Derby. And last episode, I mean Teo. We got a lot of focus on Teo, which is pretty cool. And just in general, we're back into our lovable horse girl anime, so it's not having a pretty good time with it. Let's see how things go in this episode. So, three, two, one, play. We are in the examination room, so... Oh yeah, yeah, that happened. I kind of tried to forget about that, that. But yeah, there was a bit of a thing on stage, yeah. Yeah, I was about to say, she's trying to be really lighthearted about this, but... Uh, I, uh, yeah, I... Yeah, I mean... This is not good news, yeah. Oh, could have said something before he just stabbed it into her like that. She wasn't even paying attention. Uh, that was that was a very odd atmosphere to that scene. But yeah, that was bad news. That's for sure. Season two. <laughs> yeah, no chasing her. Remember to stretch everyone. Wow, somebody's energetic. Run like your life depends on it, ladies. I think that one just winked at me. Man, they are neck and neck. Who will win, though? Cheek to cheek. <laughs> that special week, she's, yeah, she's got Silent Suzuki on her phone. Of course she does. Never gonna give it up. Never gonna let you down. God damn it. She's determined. I mean, it's to be expected. <sighs> yeah, they, they. Yeah, I'm not a big fan either. Yeah, dag six month recovery expected. Yeah. Oh yeah, this. I we're, we're still doing that. Yeah, the whole world is pretty upset about this. Understandably. Hey, I I got faith in my wonderful horse girl and book. Just just book. I guess it's the book equivalent to that shop called Game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, can't keep me in there longer than they make me. Special week, just double fisting those carrots. Of course she is. All right, as expected of our amazing manager. Yes, she is determined, and we are going to help her. I'm just so used to Special Week being the main character. It's just so weird how she's so not right now in this season. <laughs> I'm with Gold Ship, as I usually am. Okay, don't do don't don't do those movements, Special Week. I would. I just don't. All right. 
I mean, it was bad enough she had a cure on each hand just for the heck of it, but just we, we, did, we didn't need the movements to. <laughs> yeah. I I believe you. I love the slight tail wiggling. It's a great touch. Oh, and she still has them in her hand. Wow, she is just not letting go of them. I guess she just wants to be able to make sure she has food whenever she whenever hunger hits. I, I guess I can understand that. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> really have missed these horse girls. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Weighted trading clothing. Uh, just, was that was that a title drop of a different show? <laughs> okay, thank thank you. <laughs> She still has that. You stand on it and you, you know, you, you do this. Are, are you paying attention? Are you taking notes? Oh. Uh, yes, the, yes. Oh, right, right. Yeah, she, she hasn't let it keep her down too much. <laughs> Friggin' bad. <laughs> Someone looks comfy. Right. Yeah, definitely. Don't hurt, don't push yourself too much. Definitely. I really do miss you, Silent Suzuka. Can't you come visit us, like, in person for a day? <laughs> Data Bible. I bet you do. And she's she's a weird one. <laughs> Very interesting ears she has, I must say. She is not giving up. Her ears are kind of odd, too. I mean, she's got, like, the ribbons going up them, but... <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, Teo's not the only one doing her best. I mean, for goals. <laughs> oh, support from the local townspeople. Who's that? Oh, McQueen, I guess that makes sense. Who else would be in that kind of vehicle? What's happening? Not nani 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 not And this is gonna help? Okay. Okay. Wasn't there a chef in there? I kinda assume they were all like the chef's assistants at first. And yeah, two of them are food related, so I mean I wouldn't say no to this. McQueen is the best friend to have.
<laughs> uh, his eyes look a bit intimidating and... Yeah, more needles. <laughs> uh. Oh, don't, don't leave me alone with these people. One of them has a needle. Uh, well, thank you, McQueen, for your help. I heard the sound of... Ow, oh, Jesus. I heard the sound effect. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah, progress. Sweet Sue, sweet Sue. What a thing to chant as you're exercising. It's rest about my route running speed. <laughs> yeah, sure that leg goes boss. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> this so uh... Oh. <laughs> I just, it's so weird seeing someone run that slowly in this show. But I mean, all things considered, she's doing really well. And she's just gonna get better from here, so... Days keep going. <laughs> I really cannot but admire that kind of determination. Yeah, sure, yeah. <laughs> She really is. Okay, I guess just everyone's coming to our table today. Okay. Iku no dick. That that that's that's a name. Yeah, I mean... That's her goal. Do your best. Yeah, I was not paying much attention to you. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I can't follow two combos at once. I can barely follow one combo at once. Okay, how much progress have we made? I mean, yeah, there's definitely better. This is definitely faster. Progress is definitely being made. Need that calcium. <laughs> Uh, I love you, special week. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. But we need carrots in it. Because carrots are carrots. <laughs> hey, what's, what's the problem with... It's fine. So, Doctor, please give us good news. That's all I really ask of you. D don't shake your head. That's that's the opposite of good news. Uh, I, I demand a second opinion. Ten no sure. I don't want to... I, uh, I don't know exactly what he said, but it definitely was not good. Oh wow, that's fast.
trainer's office. Is anyone home? I hear, yeah, I hear typing. As soon as he notices her, he like hides his window. Pretends he was doing important business work. Yeah, probably not the best idea. But damn, is he working hard too? Like I was joking before, but yeah, he really is doing his best too. <laughs> not not well. I don't want to hear you say that. <sighs> I mean, I get it, but just I don't want to hear it. <sighs> it's it's kind of hard not to. Like, I kind of just want to cry right now. Anything for you? <coughs> Man, she was just so excited and everything in the first episode. And... Uh, those eyes. She looks like she's on the verge of crying. <laughs> No. Uh, Rudolph. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's not like she's going to completely give up on you, though. <laughs> so she is out there. That's good, at least. But, you know, she probably also wanted, you know, to compete with Teo, so... Oh. Okay. It did. <laughs> but it's not you. Uh. I don't think I've ever been this depressed during the race before. Mm. 
Uh, Teo. Uh, <laughs> Man, they're Be careful, guys. That voice. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. Good for you. <laughs> uh, I think it sucks for you. I was just too depressed about the tail thing to get too invested in that race, though. But. Hey, I got you all your ridiculous snacks. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. There's really no helping that, Teo. Right. <laughs> That's a good point. It's not like she lost the race, she just she wasn't really in it. <laughs> I actually I do actually do feel a little bit better now. <laughs> just yeah, just her cheerful voice. It definitely like yeah, it's kind of magical. There's McQueen. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the food. <laughs> we have Susan together too, and I, I, I'm glad we do that. No preview or anything like that. Okay. Well, that was the second episode of the second season of Pretty Derby Duma Musume. I think I may have got that back backwards, but yeah, that was the episode. Okay, well, you know, I had kind of forgotten about the, the, the injured leg thing, probably because I wanted to, because that's not exactly a happy thing, but they got into it pretty much immediately in the episode, you know. Just, uh, yeah, broken, it, it's got to heal and got to go through rehab, and that probably means not being able to do the race she wanted to do. But, you know, although that she took that, it, it hurt, but she, like, didn't give up, you know? 
like she was determined despite you know whatever the, everything the doctor said that she would get it she would you know work hard did rehabilitation training get back up to running speed and then just go do it right that was the idea we have everyone pretty much you know being encouraging like her friends or teammates as well as like random people on the street like yay Teo, you can do it you know like their kind of encouragement like like we got a lot of that you also have the one girl, I don't remember her name, she had like the ribbons up to her ears and she decided, hey, I'm gonna do the Keka Kaka Kushu too, you know, just I just gotta win these things and I'll go do that, right? So, yeah, we had that as well as a thing in the episode. But yeah, we had like a special drink being prepared, everyone like uh, discussing what to put in it, like put in garlic and carrots and stuff and special week. She she doesn't get a whole lot of lines in this season, but almost always the lines are worth the lines that she does get are very very are good. I I I like them. So Oh yeah, McQu McQueen. Yeah, she just like gives like gives her access to her chef patisserie patisserie guy acupuncturist doctor like everyone you know to help her out even like a needle just he has a needle because he's you know he's a doctor person right she just leaves her alone with all these people uh mcqueen but like we do see her make progress you know eventually she is like running but it's just like nowhere near as fast as she needs to you know when she needs to so she really just had no choice but to drop out of at least that race you know we saw her at the doctor office and we didn't actually hear what was said but we did we, we kind of didn't need to because everything about you know the facial expressions and we even think we even got a, had a, sh a shaked head right made it pretty clear that things it was not good news and not good news pretty much just means not being able to do the race so at that point we kind of shifted from determined Teo to a depressed Teo. Obviously she wasn't going to stay depressed forever, but it was definitely like a like a low point, you know. But this is just like a, it's obviously not like the end of the road. It's just a bit of a big old hurdle that's got to be jumped over and then she'll get back into it, you know. Like the overall goal has not been given up. Teo wouldn't wouldn't do that. She's way too de de determined. She's a bit of a determinator, you might say, you know. Like she she's she's got this, you know. So it's just, it's just we, it's not right now. Just we're not. We're just we're still in the recovery stage. But once we're out of it, she will show the world what she's got. Our potential undefeated triple crown girl. You know, that that whole thing. And yeah, it's also cool getting to see the trainer all working pretty hard, even like thinking about shoes and whatnot. But you know, it was it was not going to happen, unfortunately. But that scene where she's at the race and not as a contestant but as a viewer and she watches them you know i was already fairly sad <laughs> during that scene but then she starts to like imagine herself in the race and then but the, the sadness starts to like, get a lot stronger and then she starts to cry and then i start to want to cry and it's just it's all i just it's just killing my heart pretty much i think that's i think that's the best way to phrase it just uh because it's just like such a stark contrast to how cheerful and, you know, everything she was before. Like, yay, I'm going to do it. And now she's just watching the race she was supposed to be a part of and crying. And it's just, uh, the trainer gives her snacks and stuff. but doesn't help that much. But, you know, at least some other girl got to win. So good for her. Uh, I don't remember who it was. Uh, I think it says it around here. Re Rio Rio Natal, we that's that's hard to say, but yeah, she won, so good for her. And someone did not win. Somebody was just laying in the grass, very frustrated. And then we had a bit of a talk with the trainer on the Shinkansen. You know, pretty ma you know making it clear that it's not it's not the over, the uh the the undefeated triple crown winner girl that's gotta be her, and this does not stop that it just you know delays it a bit. It's it's all good. So I do like how we ended on a bit of a positive note. Like my overall sadness hadn't completely dissipated yet, but you know it's 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 it was on the way out after that. You know with that more positive uplifting kind of end we got there, right. So it was a good episode. It it stabbed my heart and twisted the blade quite a bit, but it was it was still a good episode. 
and you know obviously we're still in the same position that we always were in where we're just, you know gonna root for Teo to do her best and to have some success and yeah hopefully things can start to look up for her because hopefully that hopefully that does not happen again because if it did happen again I would probably just rage quit the show but just hopefully that hopefully that doesn't happen I, I don't think it would happen I think it's I think it's gonna be mostly uphill from here right hopefully but yeah good good stuff good stuff so that's all i got to say on this episode <laughs> hopefully yeah we can get back into a next episode so hopefully i'll see you then thank you for watching and a special thanks to snokey and ryan for supporting the channel if you enjoyed this video i hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more if you want to do something big to help the channel you can support me on patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos see you next time